This is the first of a series of videos about a catamaran I built back in the 90s. Building a boat, something big enough to live on and sail off over the horizon is a dream I had for years. My original idea was to build a monohull. In fact, I bought plans for a little 21 footer that I was going to weld up and sail around the world in. The plan got postponed for a number of years. In that time, I came across a couple of books that changed my ideas. It was back in the early 90s. The first book was The Gougen Brothers on Boat Building, all about a building with epoxy and wood. And the other book was The Cruising Multi Hull by Chris White. The two of them together made sense building a multi hull that didn't rely on tons of lead to keep itself upright and building with wood, epoxy and fiberglass all made sense to me. I found plans I liked from a local multi-hull designer, Tony Granger. I then started preparing the place to build it in the bush on my parents' property out the back of Noosa Heads, Queensland, Australia. The original shed was only big enough to build the 21 foot boat that I originally planned to build. So I lengthened it with the idea of building the boat in three sections, two hulls separately and then the centre section, which I ended up doing. The building of the hull starts with a strong back. It's a ladder-like construction that I concreted into the ground. I cut out temporary frames in chipboard to make up the cross-sectional shapes of the hull Using full-size contours on mylar sheet, I laid down on the wood and traced out with a dressmaker's wheel. Each temporary frame is set up on the strong back and lined up. It's worth spending a little extra time to get everything spot on at this stage. Getting it all lined up perfect and the contours cut out perfect, made for an absolutely fair hull. It saves you a lot of time down the track. The construction was strip plank western red cedar, basically a wood cord fiberglass boat. My reasons for building it this way were that it's a simple system for a one-off boat. You don't need to build a mould before you can make it. It produces a very fair hull. It's strong, it's light. The cedar strips were 14mm thick and for the majority of the boat 90 millimetres wide. What I bought machined uh, were not long enough to make up the length of the hull so they have to be scarfed together to give you the full length of the hull. I set up a jig with my brother's radial saw to saw them all, give them a feather edge for scarfing and then set up a jig table to scarf them all together. Once they were dried then I could start screwing them onto the temporary frames edge gluing them as I went to start to form the, the shell of the hull. The edge glue is a mixture of epoxy resin and cabosil which thickens it to a peanut butter consistency. Probably 90% of the work I did on my own. The rest was help from family and friends. Here's my dad giving me a hand. To follow along to the next stage of the build just click on the link above for the next video. Thanks for watching.